Hello, David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. You are not hallucinating and your eyes are not deceiving you. Yes, the title of this is about a frugal bond moment. And I get it. We haven't done one in a long time. I've been bringing you luxury brands, um, but something happened. Of course it did. I had motivation. I had inspiration from you, from a couple of people. Um, almost daily, I hear from a lot of people, a lot of college students, a lot of individuals from all over the world, hey, David, these brands are really nice, but I, I can't afford these. Um, they're very expensive to me. They're a major investment. You know, can you can you show any kind of uh, frugal bond moments like you used to? And I, I get it. I mean, I, I've I've been focusing on the brand aspects for a long time. A lot of them are luxurious. They come with a certain price tag. But today, I was inspired again, not just from those emails, but from an individual named John from Iconic Alternatives. Now, I'm not going to give too much away about John from Iconic Alternatives or what Iconic Alternatives is because there is an interview with him that talks all about Iconic Alternatives. The only thing you really need to know is it is somebody who has more than amply taken up the mantle, uh, the baton, if you will, of frugal bond moments when I have woefully fallen by the, by the wayside as far as not honing up for you. And he's done an amazing job, including this outfit. So a little bit of housekeeping we need to tell you because I don't want my neck wrung. Ah! Uh, we are going to have some spoilers. I'm going to tell you when they're coming. I mean, this very outfit, some could deem it as a spoiler. I'm not going to give any plot points. I'm going to give um, some pictures, however, okay? Because we are talking about a frugal Bond moment as it pertains to the James Bond outfit that he wears in Matera. Now here come the spoilers. We're going to show some pictures because people on the streets were able to capture some pretty good images of this outfit. You see uh, James Bond canoodling with Madeline. Uh, they look like they're having a great time. She's wearing a very fetching red dress, but he was wearing something that made us all kind of scratch our heads. And we said, well, hold on a second. It's this billowy, blousey jacket. It looks like a linen. It's kind of flowing. It's got drawstrings and buttons and patches and cinching and is that gray jeans he's wearing or is it gray cords or what exactly is it and what is is that a white Henley that I see so we started to put this together and sure enough the more we looked at it the question and the scratching of our heads fell away to all right well he's in Matera Italy it's warm of course he would be wearing linen makes sense that he would be wearing uh, the Henley and sure enough he's wearing the Drake shoes he's wearing um, those kind of moccasin chuckas and he's wearing the Nortons from Barton Pereira okay second bit of housekeeping or is it the third I've lost count I hope you're keeping count not everything that I'm wearing right now is a frugal bond moment. First of all, I am wearing these Nortons. Now, you know the Norton Barrera Pereira, Barton Pereira. See, this is real, folks. Uh, I wouldn't call them frugal. We do have a great review on them. You can go check it out in one of my other videos. So we're not talking about these today, but he, he wears them with this outfit. And they are my go-to new favorite no time to die sunglasses. I'm also wearing my Omega watch just so I have a watch on. And I'm also wearing Drake's. Again, not frugal, but uh, there'll be its own review. We won't go over it now, but I figured I'd just put them on just to finish off the outfit. So let's tuck in, shall we? First of all, I am wearing a Frugal Bond jacket that is a Frugal Bond version of a brand called Connolly. And I dare say, I think Connolly is going to factor in relatively well in no time to die because this jacket is going to be a popular item. Now, we've heard through their Instagram and through some of the representatives of Connolly that they are going to re release closer to the premiere of the movie the actual jacket. So, as always, if you can get the brands, I would get the brand because there's nothing like it. It's going to be screen accurate. It's a really cool jacket too. But this is from Mango. Now, if you go to Iconic Alternatives, and we're going to put the link, you can get a link to this jacket. This jacket was $25. I didn't skip, I didn't stutter, $25. It is in a cotton leather. I'm going to come up really close so you can see the... Uh, that cotton 
Did I say cotton leather? Cotton linen. Gosh, I hope I didn't say leather. Um, but what I love about this is it has so many of the different subtleties of the actual one. It's got four buttons here. It does have a finish down here of multiple buttons. It doesn't have the drawstring. It has a cinched bottom, but I am going to button this just so you can see kind of how this looks. I, I always do this. I stand at the side. This is a UK medium, meaning it is a US small. But as a UK medium, this is the right size for me. This is the size to get Bond's look. It should be a little bit billowy. This is not supposed to be skin tight. You're going to see a battery pack. I apologize, but there it is. Um, this fits me perfectly. If I had gone down to a UK small instead of a UK medium, this would have been too small. And vice versa, it would have been too big if I went up a size. So this is perfect. It has those buttons. Now the pockets are a little bit different. Let me describe what's different about those. In the original one, you can actually see a button come through. Well, guess what? I'm going to have Steve the Taylor redo this for me. I'm going to have him put in some drawstrings instead of the cinch. And I'm also going to have him bring through the button that is already on here holding this clasp together. And the reason I'm doing that is I'm just trying to make this frugal bond jacket just a little bit more accurate. I think it's going to be a little bit more fun, but right now it is near to perfect. We're going to come in close so you can see the collar. The collar in the original one also has kind of a flop to it. You can see this white ivory Henley coming through right here very nicely. And then as I pull back here, you're going to notice something else. And that is these cords. All right, so here they are, and you can see that they are a slim slash straight fit. Uh, the cord on it is a gray cord, very, very thin, very thin cord. In fact, from, from far back, you can hardly see the cord themselves. And just to tell you a little bit about this, um, the original ones that you see in the movie, and I'll come up close again, are from um, Massimo Alba. They are really nice and happily they are reissuing them. So again, if you can get those from um, Massimo, do so. These, believe it or not, you can see my little battery pack hanging off my butt. Um, these are actually Levi's 511. Can you believe it? Levi's 511. So it's one of the great things is that they really fit the bill and from far away especially, they really create that connection that you want in the movie. All right, now we've got to show you yet another thing because all of the contributors of Iconic Alternatives not just found this mango piece right here, they found a Henley because who just wants the jacket? You want everything. So this is, I'm going to get a little bit closer so you can see this. This is an Alfani Henley. Alfani. Why does that brand sound familiar? Well, it's because you remember it from when Lindy Hemming chose that shirt from the one and only club. It was an Alfani shirt. It made everybody flip out because it was polyester and they were like, what? This is an Alfani shirt that really fits the bill. By the way, we don't know what brand is used in the movie, but this one hits at the right level. And by the way, this I actually ordered. There's a link and you got to go to Iconic Alternatives. There's a link in there to Macy's. Macy's sells this. This is, um, gosh, it's got everything in it. It's got polyester. It's got rayon. It's got a little bit of spandex. It feels great. It's like that wicking away stuff, which if I was in Matera, Italy, and it was warm, this would be perfect. You can see where it hits on the bicep. This is a size medium. And just to go over my sizing again, 40, 31, the medium fits me perfectly. If I had a small, it would be cinched on me. And if you remember from those pictures, this did not look like it was skin tight on him. It fit him very well, but it wasn't skin tight on him. So I think the medium, again, fits the bill on this. Okay, cost of this. $15. So we're still playing at home, right? $25 for the jacket, $25 for the cords, and $15 for the shirt. So you can see how this is absolutely a frugal bond situation. Now, one thing I will tell you as I kind of bring this on, I want to show you the insides. 
Why? Because you want to see all these details. As you hunt for these, I do know that there are a few more still left. So there's a mango. It says man smart, European medium, US small, Mexican medium. Um, what you want to do is there's there's also a hundred percent linen version. I haven't compared that. I haven't looked at that. I know the hundred percent linen is still available. These there's a few more sizes left as I videotape this, but it's going to go quick once this thing goes live. Then let me describe what you should do. You should actually go on eBay because some people are going to list these things on eBay or AJB or, or different places. So you want to check that out. By the way, this is what it looks like when it's buttoned up because hopefully if you do get this, you're not just going to get it because Bond wears it in no time to die. You're going to get it because you're going to wear it. Uh, it's getting a little cold here for this, but if I travel to a place like Portugal or any other place in Europe uh, where it's a little bit warmer, southern Italy, this would be perfect. So, all right. I wanted to just go over this because it's a great frugal bond moment. You can find all the links to this jacket, this shirt, everything that you need to really gather this outfit at Iconic Alternatives below. You're going to see what John and all his collaborators and contributors have put together. And by the way, there's a bunch of other outfits there too, not just this one. And then when you're done with that, you can check out the interview of John. If it's not up yet, it will be very soon. But we're going to be bringing you more Frugal Bond moments. We love the brands. We love the engagement. We certainly love brands that re-release uh, their items and, and their connection to Bond history. But we get it. Not everybody can afford those brands. And Bond should be accessible to everyone. And I mean to everyone. And so the Frugal Bond moment or the iconic alternatives, it brings that to everybody's doorstep. Bond is not just for one individual or a few. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this. I did. I'm actually going to wear this for a little while because this is super comfortable. This has been David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience, and we will see you all very soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from The Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.